Are you still eyeballing your site boundary in Google Maps and trying to take a screenshot and put it in your documents or actually even import an AutoCAD? Stop doing this. All you need to know is insert set location. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create two viewports, one with the satellite, one with the roads, and how you can actually make them work in two different viewports by using the AutoCAD's set location feature and creating a few layers. Let's begin. So let's start by making sure that in our extra folder, we have the side boundary. So basically what I did here is I opened the side plan, I copy paste the side boundary in its own drawing and I saved it as in the extra layer. The reason I did this is so I can overlay it or extra fit it into my site location plan because I don't need the proposed site layout, I just need the side boundary. So we're gonna go to our drawing, we're gonna type extra, we're gonna go to attach DWG we're gonna select our side boundary hit open and i'm gonna leave the settings as it is because i know my side boundary is drawn correctly so therefore i do not need to change the scales or change the insertion point so i'll hit ok then i'll double click my middle uh, click so i can zoom extend and now i'm gonna go to the paper space the reason we're going here is so we can get the extents of the viewports that we need so type viewport and then single and let's create one now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just draw from top to bottom a line so i can find the midpoint of the page and then i'm just gonna drag my viewport all the way down also what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy my viewport and paste underneath so the whole idea is to have two viewports one which shows like roughly closely where the side is and the other one showing just far away where the side is located now what i'm gonna do is this is so i can define the extent of each viewport is to draw a rectangle around the first viewport then go to home modify change space select your rectangle hit enter select the first viewport hit enter and double click outside now you can see a rectangle appeared that is the rectangle that we're gonna use to capture the area so let's go to our layers and make sure we create a new layer so let's name it cts map close up and let's give it a, a color orange just because cts is orange and then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom viewport so we're gonna draw a rectangle for the second viewport then we're gonna hit modify, change space, select the rectangle, hit enter, select the viewport that we want to send it to, hit enter and double click outside. So now we have the second one. So now we're gonna go create a new layer, name it CTS, map far away. So now let's move our second box into the far away. And let's change the color, let's say to blue, just so we can be able to distinguish between them. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add a point and I'm gonna add it at the, let's say, bottom left hand corner of the first viewport. It doesn't matter where you add your point as long as you know where it is because we're gonna reference it. Now also I removed the decimal so I can keep it simple. Then I'm gonna go to the GeoGrid Reference Finder website. I'm gonna delete the previous points I've created. So all I'm gonna do is type the Eastings and Northings. So the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna get my la latitude and longitude. So I'm just gonna copy. Then all I'm gonna do is now go to insert, set location from map, and then I'm gonna paste my latitude and longitude in, on the top and hit the search button, hit drop marker, next and here you will need to select your gis coordinate system for england it is osgb 1936 national grid then make sure the drawing units is in meters hit next and i'm gonna select the point see there is a difference so make sure your node snap is enabled so i'm gonna select the node and hit enter now if you zoom out my site is in the right place and now we're gonna use the capture area button in the geolocation tab so basically what we're doing is basically telling them like hey i want this picture from here all the way to here so if we go to map aerial and turn it off we have still the image 
Now we can delete the map close up rectangle and all we have to do is just click on the map and move that one into the map close up. So basically now if we freeze the map close up, the image disappears and if we bring it back on, it will appear. The reason we're doing this is so we can utilize it in the viewport, in the paper space. So how are we gonna show them? So we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna turn in geolocation, we're gonna turn the map back on. So we're gonna do, let's say hybrid on this one. And I'm just gonna do capture area again, select from top left corner to the bottom right. And I'm just gonna turn the map off. I'm gonna delete the blue line and I'm just gonna select my map and then move it too far away. You can keep your side boundary now all you have to do is just select your maps and make sure like it's very fine so it's very detailed and i'll do the same for the other map so very fine makes it more detailed and i'm gonna go to my paper space and as you can see we have them now in the paper space you might have noticed that this appeared all you have to do to fix this is double click on your viewport go to your layers and vp freeze the close-up one and i would do the same for the top viewport and VP freeze the far away. And there you have it. That is how you create your site location plan. And this is the quick and dirty way to do it. Now, also what you can do is change the map. So if you wanna just show roads, that's how you would do it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you liked it, hit the like button. And if you loved it, hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned with new tutorials. Now, if you would like to see any different type of tutorials, leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to share it with your colleagues so they can learn also how to use the geolocation feature in AutoCAD. So, stay safe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.